didn't before And all I've seen Since 18 hours ago Is green eyes and freckles and your smile And the back of my mind making me feel right I just wanna know you better know You better know You better now I just wanna know you better know You better know You better now I just wanna know you better know the door for you for me I graduated December 19th 2013 um, it was an informal graduation I don't get to walk across the stage until May but I'm officially done with high school I don't have to go back in January so that was really really cool for me because I achieved a major major milestone in my life so I should have probably said this one first but oh well um, senior year was one of the greatest things that happened to me in 2013 I had so much fun my senior year I hung out with some amazing people I got to know some amazing friends as well and I made some lasting friendships that are gonna last me forever oh okay so the next thing that I loved about 2013 is turning 18 like OMG how like 18 is just amazing I'm an adult now and some great things happened for me. The thing is YouTube, like YouTube, I've grown so much in the last couple months that I've been on YouTube. I took a break a few years ago and um, now I'm back into it more definitely and I can see that the more I put into it, the more other people like it and the more um, satisfaction I get from it. So I'm really, really excited to see what 2014 has to bring for my YouTube channel, you guys. Because um, I'm so close to 200 subscribers and that makes me so excited. One of my other favorite things of 2013 is a TV show and it has to be Duck Dynasty. Like, oh my gosh, those guys are amazing. I absolutely love the Robinson clan. Like, oh my gosh, like, yay, claps, 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 claps. I don't know. Like, like I don't know. I just, I love them for 2013. They, the show, like, I watched it all the time. And I love the fact that a &E has their reruns on right now, and we won't even get into the controversy about a &E. So the last thing that I've loved for the 2013, I want to say for the new year, but for 2013 has to be my new hair. Um, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people love it, um, but I personally love it. It was a really big step for me to cut off all of my hair, um, but not only did I cut off my hair, but I cut off... Um, the bad mojo. I let all of it go away. All of the bad thoughts, all of the bad things that happened to me, I let them go. Um, so the new the new hair came with the new Angie as well. So I'm really, really glad that I did what I did. So one of the really big things of 2013 that I learned is that you have to, have to be honest about your feelings or else like nothing's going to go right for you in a way. And you cannot be happy if you're not honest about your feelings. Other big things about 2013 was... That I've learned is that you need to have a plan because now you're at the point for me I'm at the point of the rest of my life I'm 18 I'm starting school in a few months um, I need to have a plan for what I'm gonna do and at first I was totally against it but now I'm like if I don't have a plan I'm not gonna be successful successful I'm not gonna be successful and I don't know having a plan is like the perfect thing to do I don't I don't know how to explain it but 
like for me having a plan means making sure I'm able to achieve everything I want to achieve. So next lesson that I learned is to never ever ever let anybody tell you you cannot do anything. Um, that was a big thing for me. I had a lot of critics in 2013 telling me I wasn't going to make it to December graduation, that I wasn't going to get into college, things like that. Um, it really tears a person down in a way and if you listen to it, you it can get the best of you. But for me, I knew that I knew how smart I was, how, how smart I am, and I knew what I wanted to achieve in life. And I knew that regardless of what anybody has to say, they're not going to let me, they're not going to do what I have to do. They're not me, so they're not going to get it done. Um, so you just don't want to let people bring you down. Um, another big lesson, two big lessons that I want to combine together because they're really, really important is to be happy with yourself and to live for yourself. Like, just be happy because if you're not happy, like, nothing goes right. And if you're not living for yourself, you're not, I, it just, they go hand in hand. If you're not living for yourself, you're not happy. And if you're living for other people, making other people happy, you're not truly happy. And I know that personally because at first I was going down a career path of nursing and teaching and law that, that truly didn't make me happy. And when I took a semester of community college, I felt so forced into it and it was not me. It was not something that I personally wanted to do. Eventually I know that I want to go down a path in in teaching, but not right now. Um, and I have a plan on what I want to do in the new year. And I'm really excited because it's something that has always been in the back of my mind and it's making me happy that I'm able to achieve this goal now. So hey guys, so that's it for the lessons that I've learned in 2013. Of course, there's so many more lessons that I've learned, but a lot of them are personal lessons and I would love to share them with you guys, but um, that's, a, that's, that's a video for a different time. Um, so I hope you guys had an amazing 2013. Even if you didn't, like, make sure that your 2014 is amazing. So yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions for me, just leave them in the down bar. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye, guys.